Hey everybody, Bob here, W2CYK, and today we're going to talk about something new we've been working on in the lab called the R-Finder Pi. Um, <clears throat> it's a way of programming radios in real time, and uh, we just happen to be doing it with R-Finder right now, but it, it's open source. You can literally attach it to any, uh, any computer program. So anyway, so it's based on an a Raspberry Pi. If you've never seen one, this is what one of these babies looks like. It's got an Ethernet port, a couple of USB ports, and an HDMI port. You can attach it to an old monitor uh, for display. It's got a sound port and an I.O. port. And you can attach even a serial port to the I.O. port with these little this cable here. So provides uh uh, serial capability on the board. We had a little weirdness with it, so we opted to use a USB based um, serial port. And this happens to be a uh, RT62 from uh, RT Systems. It's a serial port generally for TS2000, D700, stuff, you know, radios like that. And it provides a serial port. That's a Rayla 9 pin serial port there. We've got a gender changer to go from female to male, so we can attach another female cable. And this is um, a, uh, I believe it's called a CT62 from Yesu. It's the Yesu programming cable for um, for things like the FT8, 57, 97, 817, etc., 8X7 uh, radios. And uh, this racer key has nothing to do with anything. But anyway, so uh, we've attached it, and uh, we have uh, created a programmer out of this. And you can see I've got a power cable attached to this. I've got an SD card to make it boot. I've got a Wi-Fi dongle on it, and I have been using a keyboard. I'm using my, my Macintosh keyboard as a, as a USB hub. But normally this would be a lights-out box. It would have no keyboard, no monitor attached to it, and... I'd attach the serial port just to the second port, and that would be it. So, uh, as you can see, I don't have a monitor attached to this thing right now. So what we've done in our finder, we have an experimental version of our finder here. And should have this out shortly uh, to, uh, if you can see this button here. This yellow button here on the bottom says, send radio sent to radio via R-Finder Pi. So we've dubbed this baby an R-Finder Pi and um, it's a radio programmer, real-time and you can see that our radio is set to uh, 145595 and if I touch the button here you can see that the radio is now changed to 14537 so I've switched over to this Okay, uh, to this radio here in our finder. If I wanted to switch to something else, like for instance, um, well, this is a weather radio. You can see I hit the button and immediately changed the. Did a QSY request to the radio to change its uh, its frequency. So I'm going to pause and oh, now some of you might say, well, why aren't you just using Bluetooth? Well, this is a Bluetooth serial port. You can see we have one here, and I've been toying with this trying to get it to work. But there's one little problem. iPhones, iPads, any of the iOS devices do not support what's known as the SPP, the USB, I'm sorry, the uh, Bluetooth serial port profile. So if I wanted to make an iPhone program a radio, like I just showed you with the R-Finder Pi, um, can't do it with one of these babies. Uh, just not possible. It's not supported in the operating system, and we've tried to get around it and program around it. Uh, KD2DMH, our uh, wizard on the iOS side, uh, just um, uh, has run into roadblock, and everything that we've seen on the internet is that it's just not doable. So we wanted to find a solution that would less, let us work from both uh, Androids and iPhones, as well as some of the new versions coming out, the Windows version and the Windows Phone version and the 
black uh, the uh, uh, BlackBerry version. So uh, this doohickey will allow us to support all platforms. So I'm going to pause and actually, you know what? I'm not going to pause. I'm going to say sayonara on this one, and we're going to make another video about the um, about the management of this and how it all works. Uh, 73s.